Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Matt from Bite the Boxer here. Just thought I'd um, give a quick review of this awesome little uh, mixer from TC Helicon, the blender. Um, I got a few questions uh, about the general setup and particularly about the mixer when I posted up a couple uh, live jam videos the other day on Instagram and YouTube. So it is definitely worth a mention because it solves a lot of the problems that I had and for very little money and um yeah i don't think that this particular model gets enough love so to give a bit of context i started off with the nc101 really cool piece of hardware especially for getting um getting your first piece of hardware it's a great one to start off with four tracks usually have drums bass pad and lead sound all on there it's brilliant and then i've got a couple volkers uh like i said, usually have electronic drum sound on track one of this and then a more real sounding drum kit playing same pattern on the sample uh vocal bass although it's a bass synth it does give amazing tone across the whole uh across the whole range and it's a lot of fun especially um playing arpeggiated stuff from the archero key step um the what it does lack though is the internal uh reverb and delays and stuff which is why I got this little one. Um, basically, this the NTS one that actually just uh, runs effects for the vocal bass, and then I can play anything on here into any of these tracks. That's really cool. But all it all goes into here, uh, the DC Helicon. You know, this has got up to six inputs to four outputs. Um, yeah, it's a really nice little mixer and solves all my problems because it just goes all to that. And I usually run this single output to my camera, and then which is a uh, Zoom Q2N input from there, and then headphones so I can actually hear what I'm doing on there as well. Um, so it solves that for really, really cheaply. Um, but the other reason I got this particular model was because USB to my computer and all these tracks will uh, be exported into my door, Logic Pro or GarageBand or whatever I'm using as individual tracks. And that's something which no other interface or, or mixer at that price point did at all. Um, so that's definitely one of the reasons why I got it. A uh, quick couple of things I should say about it. Um, because it's around design, I went for these uh, right angle leads going into it. Just makes things so much tidier. It's quite a, quite a small unit, so it is pretty cool. Doesn't take up a lot of space. I see these people with you know, a couple of Volkers, um, maybe a little controller, and most of the desk is taken up by a massive uh, PA desk, which is just ridiculous. Just no need. Get one of these. It's tiny, does everything that you need super cheaply, and it sounds great. It really does. Can't complain about it whatsoever. Um, you say you can have four outputs each with their individual mixes. Um, it's got a compress button on, which isn't actually compressed, it's like a side chain compression effect, which I cannot get to sound good, so I just leave it off. Uh, Bluetooth for controlling uh, the mix on your on your phone if you want to do that but don't be fooled that Bluetooth does not send audio to your phone or your device it just doesn't do that so don't don't be fooled by that but apart from that it's it's an amazing little little bit of kit it's perfect for running Volkers and these mini synths into it and getting one output they're highly recommended you can get one so there we have the Blender Mixer by TC Helicon. Highly recommend it if you're running little simps like the Volkers and stuff like that. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Otherwise, check out my other videos, check out my album, it's on Spotify and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, stay safe.